there's been some lies said. There's been a lot of truth bending. A lot of false advertising. A lot of people that don't want you to reach your fat loss goals. They tell lies that are going to stop you from getting where you want to be. They're going to stop you from actually starting because you're a busy person. I get that. You've got a busy travel schedule. I get that. You don't want to spend hours in the gym. I get that. Here are the four biggest lies that I see time after time again, which my clients don't have to stress out about because they are just that. Lies. The fitness industry has been misleading you. And I apologize for that. Number one, you don't have to go on a super restrictive diet. That's right. You don't have to cut all your carbs out. You don't have to go low FODMAP. You don't have to go on a gap diet. You don't have to cut out every single item of food that you love. And is on most of the menus in the restaurants that you go to when you're traveling. And get overwhelmed because what can I actually eat? Just simply having a mindful look at your food intake. Simply knowing you're eating a certain amount, tracking it, being mindful, having accountability on there. What I'll do with some clients who don't have the time to track their food on MyFitnessPal. Because as a lot of fitness professionals do is they're like, you've always got the time to track on MyFitnessPal. Fuck off. Because not everyone has. And also not everyone wants to track on MyFitnessPal. Simply taking a picture, sending it to me, helps me know what sort of intake they're having during the day. I had a client yesterday. In fact, after two months, he shot 14 pounds and he has not tracked one calorie through my fitness pal in that time. All through online coaching. He's traveled for four weeks during those two months. Different places, not in one place at a time. We've had to look at restaurants. We've had to look at places that he's going. He's had the accountability and he's eaten out probably around 70% of that time. It can be done. You don't have to follow a ridiculously restrictive diet in order to get in shape, to drop fat, to feel good, to feel focused and have your energy. Number two is that you do not have to activate beast mode. Sometimes we want to leave the Hulk at home. Go straight up Dr. Banner. Have our focus, have our knowledge, have our energy. Go in the gym, do your session and get out. You don't have to spend hours in there. You don't have to smash the weights. You don't have to kill it. You don't have to annihilate it and then take a selfie just to prove it on Instagram. Although, if it's on social media, the session counts. So that might be impacting your gains if you're not putting it on there. Just saying. Number three, miracle supplements. Yes, miracle supplements. If it's too good to be true, it usually is. If something tells you on a seven day detox you're going to drop 20 pounds, guess what? You may shit 20 pounds out. You're then going to put it back on in the dehydration that you've had, in the actual food that was in your digestive tract, and all those nutrients that have now gone out of your body, all those good bacteria in your stomach which have been flushed out, and now you're going to feel crap. You're going to get ill, and you're just not going to feel too good. Miracle supplements that tell you you're going to drop all this fat. Miracle supplements that you take one pill and you feel energized for the whole day long. Ones that wake you up, keep you focused, make you go to sleep, make you drop fat, make you double your bench press, make you double your deadlift, make you treble your squat. No. Maybe getting some multivitamins, maybe getting some vitamin D and all this sort of stuff in there, a green supplement like Athletic Greens. They can be cool, but they are only a minimal, a minute part of the puzzle. You need to focus on the bigger picture. Not a restrictive diet, not going in beast mode, sort your stress levels out, no miracle supplements. And the fourth one, stop following fitness fads. Same with nutrition, but stop going in trying to do this massive workout that is hit, that isn't really going to meet your schedule, your needs, your goals, and what you actually like doing. There are thousands of ways to get exercise in. In fact, millions of ways to get exercise into your daily routine. It doesn't even have to be going to the gym. 
it doesn't have to be picking up the shake weight and just shaking it like all day long. That Yeah, great, I've got a weight, I'm shaking it. Or Blade Fitness, or one of those Chuck Norris advertised total gyms on a band where you're like, whoop, whoop, whoop. These fads are marketed to you. Did those people get in shape using that? Did Cristiano Ronaldo get a six pack? Get so lean by having electric shots to his abs? No, he got probably six figures, seven figures, eight figures for doing it, but he didn't get a six pack. He had that from the training he was doing, from the nutrition he was doing, from being one of the top sportsmen in the world. But don't let that overwhelm you. Consistency. Consistency with your nutrition, even when you're traveling, even when you're busy, even when you've got a full schedule. No going into beast mode, focusing on you, on your body, doing sessions you like doing. No miracle supplements and no fitness fads. If you're still stressed, if you're still worried, if you're still overwhelmed about the fact that your health isn't where you want to be, there's two options for you. Even number one, go and grab my international best-selling book on Amazon. Yep, international best-selling author. Sounds kind of cool. The One Day Body Upgrade. Over on Amazon, search for my name or search for the book, it's on there. Alternatively, if you want to talk to me, go to revitalizationblueprint.com forward slash let's talk. And we'll see if you're a fit for the coaching that I offer you. I look forward to speaking to you soon.